Well, hello YouTube, you with Got That Funk, and this is a video response from my friend Fred, aka Conference Report, and his video the other day called Who Put the Con in Consciousness. And uh, Fred, in your video, you mentioned, you know, what is left of consciousness if you strip away, uh, you know, your memories and you strip away your sense of personality and you strip away you know you take away your imagine you know any imagery coming to your mind either through memories or pure imagination you you take away or ignore your senses you know touch smell taste vision etc and you ask you know what's left uh, after you take all that stuff away and and can you really refer to it as consciousness without all those attachments um, and in the video response, uh, in the uh, comment section, I uh, linked you two videos of mine that are a bit older. One's called A Metaphysical Banana, and uh, I'll link that in the description below if anybody watching this is interested in the, sort of getting it in the context. But I mean, in that video, I basically describe having done exactly what you said in your video. Uh, once upon a time, many decades ago, when I was well into meditation, quite accidentally, I managed to uh, twice... Um, stop my brain completely from thinking or perceiving um, uh, sensory input or whatever. Uh, I wish I knew what I did right because um, I've tried to replicate that so many times in the intervening years and I've never been able to do it um, as an act of will. It's always been a spontaneous, well I say always, both times it happened it was a spontaneous um, result of I, I just somehow managed to let go of a lot of stuff which during other sessions of meditation I guess I could just never successfully let go anyway stop beating around the bush um, what's left after you take all that stuff away uh, part of the problem here Fred is that we are limited uh, in our discussion by the inadequacy of language um, so I'm going to use the nearest words I can to describe what's left uh, with the proviso that they don't actually describe it accurately because we don't have a common frame of reference and our vocabulary is limited uh, to the fact that we don't have a word for what I'm trying to describe. Um, and it's going to seem like I'm going off on a tangent here, but just bear with me. I'm going to insert a picture from an album cover that uh, was out in the late 70s from Earth, Wind and Fire. Check it out. That album covers always resonated with me. Um, at the time, I thought it was really pretty, and since I had my sort of meditative revelation, I suppose you could call it, um, I kind of feel like I understand that cover in a, in, a, in a personal way. Because what's left when uh, you strip away all your sensory uh, perception and ignore or negate your personality and your memories and uh, your imagination what's left is this pure I am and that's a mis labeling of the of what's left because there is no I anymore you've stripped all that away um, anything that makes me Paul I'm not talking about that stuff so I is an emanation of ego and you can actually ignore or negate your ego uh, but what's left is this even calling it a sensation isn't necessarily right because it doesn't feel like it's acting on your senses but there's this incredible sensation of is I am this is why I've never been able to shake from my mind that consciousness may be not only produced by the brain but also perceived by the brain um, and I have absolutely no uh, scientific evidence for that. Um, I'm on record as saying, you know, I'm not trying to convince anybody that that's the case because uh, I don't really see any value in doing so. Suffice to say that uh, these sorts of things inform my entire world view and uh, my perceptions of reality and so forth. And, um, you know, I don't think I'm any worse for it. Uh, but what's left, I am. Except it's not really I. 
<laughs> I hope that makes some sense for you. Uh, thanks for your uh, thought-provoking video, and I've enjoyed a lot of the discussion going on in this topic. Until next time, to you and to all my viewers, may all your ups and downs be ups.